Okay, what, what we're going to show you now is a very effective uh, way to catch trout here at Irvine Lake is um, split shotting a Berkeley power worm or a, um, a plastic worm like the one that I have in my hand. And what you want to do is find yourself a light wire hook. In this case, this is a, um, a fine light wire hook that helps float the worm. You want the worm to, uh, you want a hook that's still gonna hook and land these bigger fish. This is a 2X fine light wire hook for these trout worms. And what you wanna do with these, this technique is called split shotting a trout worm. And what you want to do is, for me, the longer the leader, the better. And this were this again uh, a seven and a half foot, eight foot uh, parabolic uh, ultralight jigging rod. This jigging rod could be used for drop shotting power worms, uh, split shotting power worms, and that's what we're we're going to show you. Again, I like the Palomar knot because it's a strong knot and it's the easiest and quickest knot to tie. And you take one of these three colors. There's a lot of colors on the market today, but here at Irvine Lake, that's all the colors that you really need right there. You got an orange or a pink, you have a white, and then you have a either a chartreuse green or a spring green which is those are my three favorite colors right there they work real well here i'll take i'm going to start off with white what i like to do is go in from the top of the worm slide it down just the same as as the technique when you're threading a crawler on there what you want to do is the main concern is having it straight like that the hook coming through about a quarter of an inch uh, from the top of the worm and you want it straight it's got to be straight you want you want the best action out of it it has to be straight i find that this technique is better with the longer leader the longer the leader the more action you're going to have on the bait as you're working the bait in uh, some people like the shorter leader because it's easier to cast. It's not as, as effective that way. What you want to do is have a longer leader. And again, the reason why is because the bait when you're working it in swims uh, more, uh, a lot more action when you're retrieving it. And um, that's what you want. And what I do is take, you can take uh, about the three or four different sizes of split shots. I like the round split shot. A round split shot meaning that it's it's round there is no wings to clip onto the line it's easier to take and put on the ones that have the little crimps on them but what you don't want is the line rubbing up against those so i like the round ones better and in this case this is a number three uh, number three five or seven is the ones that i usually use and and the um, number seven being the lightest that i like to use in shallower water and i go to a number uh, four or a number five in deeper water sometimes you have to open these up you want to lay that line down there all the way back to the end of the split shot you want to take a pair of pliers and pinch it and secure that down so it doesn't slide Again, what you want to do is, is have it a long leader. The longer, the better. The seven, seven and a half foot to eight foot sticks make it a lot easier to cast these with longer leaders. Make as long cast as you can, as far out as you can. Let it sink. I like, there's several ways you can work different water columns. You can work the upper water column. As soon as it hits the water, you can start your retrieve. What I like to do personally, the best, my favorite way of working the bait is take your index finger uh, on your right hand, uh, whatever your hand that you uh, favor, and stick it straight down towards the uh, bottom of the boat. 
and let the line bounce off your finger, uh, what you want to do is vary the retrieve. I like a slow to a moderate retrieve where you're not working the bait too fast. What you want to do is point after your cast, point the rod tip directly to where you made your cast, lines going directly into the water. That's for a better hook set and also working your bait. You put your finger down, start your slow reel, and the line, every time you make a turn of the handle, the line bounces off your finger and it creates the jig or a power worm to swim. And what you want to do again, slow, steady retrieve. And you can see the, the tip of the rod is bouncing and that's what you want. There are times where you want to let it sink to the bottom after your cast, if they're in deeper water. What I do is make five or six casts on the surface to about two or three feet down, work that water column. If I don't get bit, I'll make another cast uh, and start a whole series of casts in mid-range, which I think are anywhere from five to 10 or 15 feet of water. And then if I'm not getting bit, I'll cast out and work the bottom lower half of that water column, which is say if I'm in 15, 20, 25 feet of water, I want to let it sink all the way to the bottom before I start my retrieve. In any way, I'll start off slow. And if I don't get any bites, then I'll speed it up. Sometimes even when you're almost all the way back to the boat, they'll eat it right here at the boat. Yeah, I just got done showing you guys how to work a uh, split shot, split shot trout worm uh, on a slow retrieve using your index finger. Now I want to show you how a lot of people like to use it, which you can use it for mini jig drop shotting and split shotting, is after you make a long cast and you decide to work whatever water column that you want to work, you can start your retrieve and bounce in the tip of the rod. That does the same thing, this is just a little bit more aggressive. Uh, aggressive for fish that are, are uh, feeding, heavily feeding, more active. The other way is a little bit more non-aggressive. It's a slow, methodical way of working the worm. This here is, is very aggressive. You're moving the bait fast. You're moving it hard. And there's every now and then, after working about five or six uh, bounces, you want to stop, let the bait slowly sink back down, back into that water column again, and then you start your retrieve again. You don't want to really bounce it too hard like that because it's a little overkill. That would be way too much. What you want to do is just bounce the tip of your rod about an inch or two inches at a time. And you might want to do that you know, anywhere from five, six times to 15, 20 times. And then stop. Let it sink back down because you'll get bit on the sink as well. There's a lot of times I've had my bait just sitting there dead sticking it and gotten hooked up on fish as well. Good job.